Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the number one most important trading book that I think anyone, new, experienced, struggling, doesn't matter, that anyone can read. The book is called The 12 Habitudes of Highly Successful Traders. I'm gonna to read to you really quickly a passage from chapter three and then we're gonna discuss it. This is from the chapter called The Habitude of Willingness to Accept Loss. It says resistance. It happens, but not to those who easily accept losses as a normal part of the trading game. It's the resistance to loss, to the absolute inevitability that gets you what you don't want. Part of the resistance comes from making an individual trade too important. One trade viewed as but one in a series of trades will not take on such a life and death struggle against loss. Each trade is statistically unimportant. Keep that in mind. You can hear me say that all the time. You wonder where I get it from. Part of it comes from thinking that you have to be right. You have to try to work it out so you can prove yourself right. When you accept the fact that you don't always have to be right about what is basically unknowable, you take a huge burden off yourself. And remember, it's not your job to know, so why should you need to be right? Think about that. She says, when you accept the fact that you don't have to always be right about what is basically unknowable, but she means is the future movement of the market, you take a big burden off your shoulders. I love that. Then she says, part of the struggle comes from trying Ooh, excuse me. Part of the struggle comes from tying your self-esteem to a trade. You try to avoid loss to prop yourself up on self-opinion. Respect yourself enough to know when to take the loss. And last, part of it comes from not focusing on probabilities, but rather focusing on the possibility. I love that sentence. Remember, probability is much stronger than possibility. You're ready for possibility, but you focus on what's probable. You want to focus on where you expect the trade to go. When you look solely at your risk, you begin to imagine it, and it becomes difficult, if not impossible, to take the trade. Some of the resistance to taking losses comes from thinking that there's a limited supply of money. True, your financial resources are finite, but your financial pop possibilities are unlimited. Think positively. So that's just from chapter three. Now, this book, as you can see, is very small. You can click the link down below and grab the book if you don't have it already. Get it off Amazon, I think it's like $15. It's gotta be cheap. It's so small. I think, what's it say on the back here? 20 bucks, not even. Yeah, everyone needs to read this book. Now, you always know I recommend One Good Trade. That's probably my second book that I would put right under this one. One Good Trade by Mike Bellafiore top-notch book that one and this one man that's shaped who i am as a trader i would also say mike's book the playbook that would probably be number three and then the new market wizards by jack swagger that's a good one too i like that one a lot i don't really go for the long textbook reads just not for me i don't have the time for it to be honest this kind of book with short easy to read chapters that can give me something to think about that i can then take and shape into my own trading and really look at myself and say how do i apply that to me this is exactly what i think we need as traders so the link is down below if you want to check this out i highly recommend it again 12 Habitudes of Highly Successful Traders, Ruth Barron's Roosevelt. Ruth, if you're ever watching, you owe me some money. I'm putting you out there too much. Just kidding. All right, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's trading video. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you get the book. Like I said, link is down below, and I'll catch you tomorrow.